Hi guys, welcome back to Woodland Frenchie's YouTube channel. Again, my name is Tyler and we got our special guest for today's topic, do French Bulldogs shed and best cleaning practices for you know maintaining a cleanly area by having a French Bulldog. So that's a good topic I'm sure everybody's asking and we all are fairly clean people. We love our homes and you know, our parents stay cleanly or clean. And a big question is, yeah, do they shed? Am I gonna have to worry about that? Is that worth actually buying, adopting, having a companion such as a French Bulldog in our lives? Is it worth the mess, hassle um, to go with that? We're gonna be answering those questions, guys, but just before we get into that, guys, just wanna let you know again, if you're new to this channel, here at Woodland Frenchies, we're all about helping you with any type of information about French Bulldogs, French Dens, and many Old English Bulldog puppies and adults. We're here to help you whether it's if you already have one, you're looking to purchase or adopt one, or just providing you as much information about the breeds and just overall sharing our love and passion for the breeds, guys. We're here to help you out with those things. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe after the video. If you've been watching our channels and haven't subscribed yet, what are you guys waiting for? Go ahead and do that. It would mean a lot to us. It would mean a lot to Stella. Right, Stella? You want them to subscribe. Okay. <laughs> so from Stella, you heard it best. So again, guys, we have a great topic about do French Bulldogs shed, and we're gonna kind of go over some of the um, cleaning methods, how we take care of that. And I actually have some really cool examples that we're gonna hit up. So um, you're gonna actually get some really hard evidence. How much do they shed? Another topic we're gonna hit up is do certain co coat colors shed more than others? I have my thoughts on that. It's an opinion. If you guys have a different opinion, that's fine. But I do have an opinion on the coat color that is maybe best suited if that is an issue for you. And there's a couple other um, different um, points we're going to hit up today. But um, hopefully we'll be able to get the overall um, explanation for you guys on shedding and cleanliness with French Bulldogs. All right, girly. So the first part, guys, I mean, just getting straight to the point, do French Bulldogs shed or not? The answer is obviously yes. They are a shedding breed. This is not a poodle. And <laughs> you know, if you're gonna go into adopting, a, you're not necessarily looking for a poodle because of their personality <laughs> and just, um, you know, basically cuteness. I mean, if you, like a, if you like a bulldog, whether it is French bulldog, I mean, you know who you are, you know why you love the breed. And it's not necessarily because you're looking for something to sit on your lap all day and, and look cute. Stella, come here girl. Come here, girly. So yes, they do shed, and I wanted to get an example, but she's so curious, and maybe she's looking for food. Come here, let's show them an example. Come here, girly. Come, Stella. Come here, girl. Good girl. Let's show them how much you shed. Let's answer that question. Come up, up, up. Okay, we're gonna just real quick play, and I'm just gonna let her get on me. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. And once I'm done playing a little bit with her, I haven't played with her too much today with this shirt, um, so I'm just gonna kind of rub her around because you know obviously you're whole, throughout the day you're holding her, playing with her, and all that good stuff. And I'm just gonna basically show how much she sheds to prove that she does. First off, yeah, and you like tussling around. Our favorite playing method is just to tussle. Don't you like that? Don't you? Yeah, you're a fighter. Yeah, you're a good girl. Okay, so just in that little quick instance, guys. Hopefully we got some good enough lighting to kind of show the shedding on there. You can see my shirt and I'm wearing a black shirt. And this is gonna get into our next topic of what coat color shed the most. And before we do get into that, so obviously you did see that they do shed, right? I'm not looking at the lens, but you guys can give a thumbs up, they do shed. Oh, it's, it's not too bad, it's not like, you know, long hairs or anything, it's just these short hairs, you just all through kind of throughout my shirt here, you know, and we'll get over to how you can clean that off and different things like that. But it's, it's, it definitely sheds, but it's not, it's not like just crazy fur balls all over me at all. It's just little hairs. And if you notice, let me step back. We're going to get into the coat colors. Um, first off, when you do get your puppy at the beginning, come here, Stella, up, come here, up, come here, up. Good girl, sit, sit, good girl, stay. So if you, when you get your puppy at eight weeks old, that first month to three months, you're gonna notice they honestly do not shed. That puppy coat, um, for, from my experience, 
and seeing they it really like when I first got my first saw my first French bulldog or got my first puppy they do not shed at all so I'm like you know that brought the question do they even shed or they don't really shed much at all um, as they grow they get older they're gonna get their full coats they're gonna want to shed you know for winter summer different things like that um, so that was my I guess my first point with you know how much do they shed so as they get older they're gonna shed a lot more so we answered that question and when they shed it's gonna be as they're adults the second question is what coat colors maybe shed more shed less um, if you do if the if shedding is such a big deal I do have maybe a coat color that might be the best option for you um, depending on that but for me so for me personally um, I see honestly the merles I know we have big fans of merle um, coat, coat colors out there the merles seem to shed the most out of any of the colors from my personal experience guys um, so Estella I don't know if it's that I can't see her black hairs at all but every time whenever I'm cleaning or you know when she's playing with me so you guys saw right now you only see like the white um, the white colored hairs on me now I'm sure there is some maybe black hairs somewhere but from just my experience I just see it's mostly this part on me so which then leaves me if, if you guys want maybe a, something that's not going to show up as much um, depending if maybe everything is white in your house but personally I feel that the, the, the blues the blacks colored coated French Bulldogs they're not gonna show up near as much or maybe don't shed as much as like a, definitely a Merle would so um, you know try that out ask friends families other people maybe have certain different coat color Frenchies but from my experience that's kind of my philosophy on that um, get a darker coated dog blue or black so it doesn't show up. I guess for me personally, I wear more of a darker, the blues, the grays, the, the blacks, um, I have that type of uh, aesthetics and co um, colors in my clothing. Um, so yeah, next next uh, process guys, or thing with this video, we're actually gonna go out. Um, we had, this is my office here. We had our cleaning lady, she came in Monday. So it's been, this is Thursday, so it's been about three to four days since she's swept the floors. And you can see here, we have hardwood floors. Um, which is going to be definitely a recommended thing for cleanliness. We're going to go ahead and kind of show how much um, Stella comes to work with me every day. We're going to kind of show how much um, fur can accumulate um, throughout the week. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of just do a quick sweep through down and back. And this is a good thing. Uh, this slipper jet thing is a really good tool or prop or good. Uh, yeah, method of cleaning floors what we use so let's just do a quick rundown and let's see if any <laughs> don't grow get grossed out here guys but you know there is some dirt I mean we come in here um, it's winter right now so there might be a little bit more dirt than others but I want you to kind of focus and you can see the coat hair on this and again we can also see this is a white background so what sticks out is more of the dark colored hair right makes sense blends in so it's, if it's more a visual thing you know get a coat color that blends in you know would be be the recommendation there so we definitely see some hair <laughs> got a good close-up on that and that's within three to four days so try to have our floors clean here weekly at the office if it's at home maybe you do it a little bit more often so um, but this swiffer power jet thing it's got the wet jet for the wood once you have tile you have there's a tile one i believe um is a great tool to use for cleaning floors um, and picking up that hair and everything for a french bulldog um, one other tool one to or other cleaning supply i wanted to show you guys um, you know whether it is a potty accident whether it is you know just cleaning something um, vomit whatever it is with the dog um, this is a really cool brand that I really like it's called method and anti back it's an all-purpose cleaner it uses essential oils it's all natural and this is my wife gets this so it's but I really do like it because it really has a great scent I spray it it's just it's got a really good you know earthy um, essential oil type of you know not like a 
I don't know what you want to call it, something, a, you know, process thing. It's just got a really nice, um, good scent that really sticks around. Um, you just spray that on the thing. Let's just say there's a little mess right here. I have the rag, and it really, you know, cleans all the bacteria and everything and all that good stuff. So, you know, first, if it was a potty, it could appear poop. You know, at first I'd take a paper towel, get that off, then I'd bring the anti-spray um, and use a rag to finish it off. So, hopefully that helps with some cleaning methods. Right there. Up, up. Stella, up, yeah, there you go. Sit. <laughs> You're just really laid down. Yeah, you are. So guys, basically, you know, we've talked about everything there is to kind of look at with the French Bulldog Shed, how to clean, um, how much they shed, all that good stuff. Now my question to you guys, or your question would be for yourself is, is it worth it? Is it is the shedding, um, the mess, and they are a little bit smelly at times too. <laughs> they do fart a lot. Is all that worth it to adopt and have a French Bulldog in your life? If you ask me personally, uh, there is no other dog I would have um, because of the personality, um, cuteness, just companionship that you get with a French Bulldog. No offense to any other breeds, and there are other great breeds out there, but personally, in my opinion, this is the best and it is worth it. Um, I do have a wife who is a very clean, cleanly person who takes care of a lot of our messes, and obviously I like to do my part as well. Um, we do care about cleanliness, but we, I know my wife would say that too, and my personal opinion is we would not, you know, replace Stella with anything no matter what. So it definitely is worth it, and hope this video helps you guys. And again, we do these types of videos that really show our passion, our love for French Bulldogs, but also to inform you and you know, say you don't want something that is shedding, and you know, the, hopefully this video helps you out that you know maybe a French bulldog is not worth it. So um, yeah, hope this video helps you guys, and if you liked it. Post for, again, if you're just joining us, definitely subscribe after this video, and we'll see you um, in our next one. Thanks, and have a good day.